All right, Justin Tucker here. In this video tutorial, we are uh, at the point where we've got a fresh Drupal 7 install. And we uh, brought in the files through FTP. We created the database. We got all that connected and tied together. And now we are looking at a fresh install. So um, what we're going to do is create a fictitious example or a fictitious site that uh, we'll need various content types and user roles and permissions and we're going to use that as a real life example um, to hopefully uh, convey better some of these ideas, concepts, and lessons. So um, let's just start with the link that's in front of us. It says add new content. You'll notice that uh, Drupal gives us two off the bat. One is called article, the other is called basic page. I'm going to click on basic page and you'll notice that Right off the bat, something that I think uh, we all want to go fix pretty quick, especially if you're uh, expecting to have a WYSIWYG editor, a what you see is what you get editor, you'll notice that there isn't one right here. And we've just got this text format, but there's really nothing we can do. So um, to get going with that, I'm going to go to Google and ask for Drupal 7 CK Editor. And here's the project page. and I suppose I can make a video about how to install modules, but we're just going to do it right here. Um, basically what I did is I go to the tarball and I right click on this and I hit copy link address. And then I'll go to modules. And the modules here should have a upload link for me. Or I'm sorry, install new module, which is what I want to do. And I'm just going to paste that URL I copied a, a moment ago and hit install. Okay, now, um, I have a profile that I've used and installed already. Otherwise, this would be a green message saying you have got uh, CK Editor installed. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go to modules again. and find the CK editor. There is also a another module that you should go download with the exact same steps that I did here. Okay. It's called module filter. And this is a little something that I don't think you can live without once you've had a taste of it. So I'm going to turn that on as well. And basically what the module filter is going to do is it's going to make this giant long list of all these modules that I've uh, installed on, on the site. Again, I'm not activating them all. But uh, I've got a lot on here because I want to go over a lot of things. Um, it turns this into a much easier to use and read um, interface. So I'm going to hit save configuration there. All right, now that we have got module filter installed, you'll notice how it gives me these tabs on the left-hand side, and it will open up the different sections and the related modules in each one. So that is very, very, very handy. Okay, now that I've got the CK Editor installed, and there may be some libraries and things you need to get for the CK Editor. Um, I'll try to have a little post or link on this page that has all that uh, done for you and together. Otherwise, if you need to go configure your CK Editor, it'd be under the Configuration tab. It's going to be on the left-hand side um, under Content Authoring. You get CK Editor. And you get this filtered HTML and full HTML, and you've got global settings. You can create new profiles. You can do a lot of different things here, okay? Um, I'm just going to open both of these to show you kind of what, uh, what we've got going. While that loads, <clears throat> I'm going to click on Add New Content and choose basic page again. Okay, and then, so now this is loaded. Under file browser settings, um, there's another module called IMCE and you'll need to download it. And I don't have it downloaded. 
or I'm sorry, in my case I do have it downloaded, I don't have it activated. So I need to activate that. Um, what this does is it allows you to insert pictures into your WYSIWYG editor from your local machine. There's other ways of achieving this, but I think that uh, this is one of the slicker tools. It, it makes mention of it right here, and you can click this and go directly to IMCE's project page. And again, it's the same idea. You copy this link, you go to your module page, and you click install new module. In my case, I think I've got it. And I do, and so I'm going to save that. And while that's loading, I'm going to go back to this create page, create basic page. You'll notice now that I've got this editor. And typically you'll want to choose full HTML. It gives you more options, and you can do more with it. There can be some videos, and I might do it just around this editor alone. It can do a lot. Um, important thing to look at it is like, uh, like it's Word or something, because you've got... Uh, common icons like bold, italicized, underlined. Uh, you can bullet things, uh, put them in numbered lists, put uh, quote blocks, etc. Um, so anyway, just showing you that. So it looks like this has gotten saved. IMCE has been installed. So when I'm on this uh, edit the CK editor profile, I should see IMCE in this in this uh, drop down, and I don't. So I'm going to refresh these pages because I didn't have it installed a second ago. I'm probably going to turn this overlay off because for me it seems to take up a bunch of page load time. This will remove this little pop-up box that we're uh, working with right here. Okay, now I can see the IMCE. I'll click that. Save that profile. Going to my other tab where I was editing the other profile. I will save the IMCE. Under advanced options, you also may want to turn your spell check on. Uh, that's a fun one. And let me go ahead and do that to the other one. Spell checker on. Save that. Okay, and let me just exit out of this and click start over again. Choose basic page. All right, now I should have a good clean CK editor and I should have spell check on each thing. So, uh, let's see. So, in this example site, we're going to want to do a couple things. Well, I tell you what, we're just going to leave that here as how to get your CK editor installed. I'll have some more text and stuff around this video to explain um, some other steps. Obviously, the README files in each of these modules uh, has uh, good documentation and steps on what you need to do to get the module installed. But like I said, I think on the CK editor, there's a few libraries that you need to install. And uh, I may try and provide a uh, simplified download that you can just put into your website. Um, but uh, So I'll see what I can do. But otherwise, this is kind of where you want to be to start inputting content. Um, one thing that, uh, granted, Drupal doesn't really do, because again, Drupal doesn't want to assume a lot of things, because assumptions kind of equal limitations. So Drupal really leaves things open-ended. If you're coming from uh, environments like WordPress or Joomla, you'll notice that this WYSIWYG editor here is kind of by default. And then typically you can go out and find other WYSIWYG editors that you may uh, want to try or use in place of the tiny MCE, I think is what the other ones use, or at least Joomla does. But anyway, um, so this is kind of a critical step to get you to where you've got a graphical user interface to start um, you know, using a what you see is what you get editor for content entry. And, um, and that's, that's what we did 
when we installed the CK editors give us this ability. When I was adding the IMCE a moment ago, what that does is gives us this button right here, the browse server, and that allows me to do the, just that. It allows me to click upload and choose a file in my local hard drive, okay? Upload that to the site, and then here's my directory of images that I've got currently and you can do a bunch of different things with this but that's what that IMCE step did a moment ago is it gives you the ability to go out onto your local hard drive find images and upload them to the server and uh, have this nice user interface to insert those images into the body of your uh, of your pages okay so we'll leave the video at that that gets us uh, um, up and running with our editor so we can have a nice uh, interface to put our content in without having to know code and that's uh, that's important for a lot of people so thanks for watching uh, if you can subscribe uh, your comments are always welcome and of course if you have questions please know to ask thanks again I'll see you on the next video